Living with disability is never easy, especially when the world around you looks at the differently abled with pity and hardly ever makes an effort to include the person in the social setup. But then, there are some who don't let their impairment define what they are. They don't wait for the society to change, rather they strive to redefine the way society thinks about them. Indonesia's Taufik Ismail is one among these few. Once struggling to make ends meet, today Ismail and his wife Jumiati and their nine-year-old daughter are living a better life. Financially, we can say our life has become much better. In the past, we didn't have anything and now we could have anything that we need. Also, we feel much confidence now. The modest income of about $200 that Ismail earns every month from his tailoring job has not only improved their living standards but has brought the family a lot of pride. Other than financial benefit, I feel satisfied. This is not only about earning money, but also work satisfaction. The change in the couple's life came nearly three years ago when they joined the workshop, Mutiara Handicraft, a project aimed at helping differently abled earn a living. The workshop owner, Irma Suryati, who herself found it difficult to find a job due to her disability, teaches the members handicraft making skills. The fine and beautifully crafted products are even sold in overseas markets. I am selling and marketing the mats not out of pity, but more about the quality. We are professional in the business and we are up for competition with other companies. According to Indonesia's National Socio-Economic Survey in 2012, around 6 million people of the country's 250 million population are living with disabilities and many of them find it difficult to get a job. For the people, projects like the one run by Suryati not only helps to provide income but also inspires the community as a whole.